Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today, as you can see behind me here, I am at Gig Lane, the home of the former Berry Football Club. Uh, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about the future of football in Berry. Uh, I'm going to show you a bit around the stadium uh, and then talk to you a bit about uh, sort of, for those of you who aren't aware, the backstory and then we'll be getting into talking about the future of football in this town. So yeah, let's jump into it and I'll speak to you a bit later on. Okay, so in a um, twist of fate, I've been let into the uh, the ground here at Gig Lane uh, by what's your what's your name? Sorry, Jamie. Jamie, thank you so much for uh, letting me in here at Gig Lane. First time I've ever been here, and it's it's absolutely fascinating. But I'm gonna have a look round. Um, if you don't mind, I won't take up too much of your time. But uh, welcome to anywhere you want. Thank you so much. Absolutely brilliant this to uh, have a look around the stadium. Obviously, it's not been used in over three years, so uh, by a men's professional team anyway. So. Yeah, it's just absolutely fascinating. Let's have a look, a look around the old gig lane and we'll talk to you a bit more about uh, the future of football in Berry. <laughs> Okay, so we're sat in one of the uh, the corporate seats here. Um, never sat in a corporate seat in my life. Shame it has to be in a stadium that's no longer in use. But yeah, absolutely brilliant to be let in here at Gig Lane and have a look around. We'll show you a bit more around soon, but I do want to just talk to you quickly about what I uh, I wanted to say about the sort of a brief history and, and sort of bring you up to speed with what's going on. So obviously, everyone will know, very expelled from the uh, the football league back in 2019 and um, since then obviously no football has been played here by a men's professional team at Gig Lane uh, but in the um, in the aftermath of that um, a Phoenix club was set up, Berry AFC which you guys all know, I've, I've covered them quite a few times on the channel um, they won promotion to the uh, North West Counties Premier last season and they're currently playing at the Newven Stadium, their grand sharing with Radcliffe FC but um, the, Berry, uh, the Berry FC Supporters Society, uh, BFCSS, as I'll call them from now on because that is a mouthful, but uh, yeah, they, uh, I believe, were set up in 2002, but um, earlier this year they purchased the assets of Berry Football Club and they purchased Gig Lane as well. Um, so they had a football club in Berry AFC without a permanent ground, and then the ground here in Gig Lane, which was owned by uh, BFC SS, without a football team. So a merger was proposed, and uh, I'm going to get into that a little bit later on once I've shown you a bit more um, around the stadium. Yeah, guys, this is absolutely fascinating being here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but um, got the the old home changing room there. Lights are completely off. You can't see in there. Officials room as well. This is just. Um, pretty it's quite eerie um it's really sad as well being here you know this was such a a big club um and it's just so sad to see that these facilities are just completely 
unused now in the men's professional game but yeah like I said we'll show you a bit more around um, around Gig Lane and uh, I'll chat to you in a second again about um, the future of football in this town here we are now actually just walking onto the pitch now of the old Gig Lane but yeah <laughs> I said I'd talk to you in a sec more about the the situation but um, I'm just genuinely genuinely shocked that um, I was allowed to come in here and see this um, didn't think that's what I'd be doing in today's video but you know I think it's worked out for the best and yeah I will take uh, I think I'll take a seat in one of the stands now and uh, and wrap this up but yeah yeah this is it's pretty special getting to be here <laughs> From where I was before as I said there was a team in Bury AFC which didn't have a ground of its own and obviously the ground here in Gig Lane owned by the Supporters Society which didn't have a team to play in it so the natural conclusion therefore was to merge the two sides um, and, and have a football team here at Gig Lane for the uh, the whole town of Bury to support once again um, the Bury Council agreed they were willing to put uh, 450,000 pounds towards the cause as were the government they were going to put a 300,000 pound grant um, to the cause as well to sort of help the uh, the new potential merge team get back on its feet and, um, and get Gig Lane back to a state where it can host football professional football regularly as as you can see from the uh, images I've just shown you um, it is it's in a bit of a state of disrepair needs a bit of TLC and uh, that money would have gone a long way to helping that and so they put the the vote as you know this year to the members of each side <laughs> So in order to unlock this funding from the government and the council, the merger had to pass and a two-thirds majority was needed for the merger to go ahead and uh, both sets of members on each side voted for this just, um, just the other week. Um, but unfortunately, if you've been following the situation, you know it didn't go to plan. Uh, on the Berry AFC side, 94% of members voted overwhelmingly in favour of the merger between the Supporters Society and Berry AFC. However, on the Supporters Society side, although 63% nearly uh, of the members voted um, in favour of the merger, still a majority, it wasn't enough um, to meet that two-thirds majority, which would have been 66.6%. Um, voting in favour of the merger to get it passed so yeah unfortunately the merger was not passed and we are now in a situation still as I said before where we have a team in Bury AFC that doesn't have a permanent ground and the ground here in Gig Lane which I've shown you around today which sadly somehow still doesn't host a men's football team so yeah it's a it's a bizarre situation um, I don't really um, want to comment on either side um, but I just think it is a real shame that, that, that there's no team playing here at Bury and the town couldn't come together and unite both sides couldn't agree um, and, and get football back here at Gig Lane as that is that's to me that should be the priority but yeah um, that is unfortunately that's what it is and it leaves um, the future of football here in Bury very uncertain. Okay, so there you have it. As I said before, it leaves the future of football in Bury very uncertain. 
Um, nobody really knows what's going to happen. It's anyone's guess. Uh, do the Supporters Society start their own team and play here at Gig Lane? Uh, does Gig Lane continue to go uh, unused by a men's team um, and, and further falls into a state of disrepair? Does it get knocked down completely and turned into houses? That would be a real shame. But um, And what about Berry AFC as well? Where do they go from here? Do they just sort of continue as they are and try and climb up the leagues as their own Phoenix club? Who knows? Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments below about what you think about the future of football in Bury. Um, it's been a great time here. Really enjoyed looking around Gig Lane. A huge thank you as well to Jamie who let me in before. Um, real privilege to look around and see um, such a historic stadium. And I just hope um, that, that this can all be resolved and that one day football, men's football, professional football will be played again here at Gig Lane. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. If you have enjoyed, do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Like I said, thank you so much once again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.